I am Cynthia Schiller. Please like and subscribe. So this is in response to uh, Do Narcissists Die Early, a video that I did. So my longtime subscriber replied uh, that they went back to find this video because something just happened with his ex. So he says, let me start off by saying when I first got with my ex, she constantly used health scares to make him worry about her. So a lot of narcissists will utilize this tactic to get us to come over or to care for us or to borrow money. It's a manipulation tactic. So she would use that in the past. So we know about the boy that cried wolf. So she had already used these health scares as her manipulation. So she was always dying of something. So he's been no contact for over two years, but a friend of him has brought something up recently. So he says, let me say, I don't consider this person a flying monkey. So he doesn't think that she's trying to say, please contact him, but he's still finding out the information. So apparently his ex her okay so his ex's daughter was posting on facebook about how the ex has stage four cancer his first thought probably not true and that's the thing with the narcissist we don't know she might have stage four cancer um she might a lot of cancers are caught second third stage maybe hopefully stage one uh there's actually a stage zero uh i didn't realize that depends on how it goes but I heard there's a stage zero, but she has stage four, which is pretty much terminal. So that might be a red flag. It could happen. I had a friend who had lung cancer with it being stage four. When she found out she was a smoker, she was in denial about going to the doctors. So it can happen. It can be stage four when you first find out, but his first thought, probably not true. His second thought, none of his business. I'm just going to let it go whatever happens happens it's not his responsibility and that's kind of a healthy way there's nothing he can do to stop it anyways he doesn't owe her anything and he's staying no contact staying no contact he's definitely not going to try to get to the bottom of it so he's dealing with it in a healthy way he's not obsessing like you know is this my opportunity to reach out or i could be there for her maybe we can reconnect i can be her support he's dealing with it in a healthy way that he can't change it and does he really need to know you know sometimes it's better to let things go we don't have to know everything sometimes curiosity kills a cat you know so just let it go so he says i can just feel grateful that i'm not dealing with some nasty woman at the end of her life sometimes narcissists will get more violent whether it's through verbal abuse physical abuse or more needy because they want to be served they want to be taken care of but did they give the same to you would they be there for you if you were going through something they're not going to put the effort in we have to ma match energies that's when we're happy um if two people don't like each other it matches if two people really like each other it matches but with the narcissist it doesn't match we're giving, they're taking. It doesn't match. We give, they give, then it's healthy. Uh, if we both take, we're going to realize it's not worth, you know, so just go your separate ways. So he says, if it is true, I can tell you that she will be nasty to anyone that's around. I've had all the abuse I ever needed. Again, if it's true, karma is a motherfucker. So um, that's still some anger. He still has some anger, I believe. Um, and we have to let that go. Uh, sometimes we want the karma sometimes we do but I feel um, that if we can let go of the anger we're not going to want that karma we'll, we'll just let it happen if it's meant to happen um, but the purpose of this video is to look out for red flags sometimes They'll shave their heads uh, to say that they're going through chemotherapy to try to prove to us that they're not lying. But if you were to offer, I'll go to the doctors with you, all of a sudden something's going to come up. They had to postpone it or the doctor had to go out of town. They'll give you some excuse. Those are some red flags. Um, you know, even if you get documentation, 
Is it going to be legitimate documentation? Uh, are they asking for money to help? Are they asking for favors? Uh, if they ask for a ride to chemotherapy, that's different. Maybe they do. Uh, but if it's a narcissistic abusive person, you don't have to be there for them. Uh, there's taxis, things like that. So it's just something to be aware of that narcissists can use those as hoovers to get you sucked back in, to get your attention, to get supply, to get pity. They just want attention. Doesn't mean good, bad. It can even be to, to stir, stir you up if you've been no contact with them to, to argue with them. So his is just a, a happening. So maybe it's true. Maybe it's a lie, but it's a red flag to him. He sees something. A lot of times our guts will tell us what the truth is. We can feel it. Um, they have to remember, it's not always going to be accurate, but for the most part, 80 to 90% of the time, your gut will tell you what the truth is. Follow your gut and look at it as a red flag. If somebody's always needing, are they really that sick? Uh, and, and the thing too, is what kind of illnesses are they having? Are they having a belly ache? Uh, do they kind of have a headache? Maybe they're a stressed out person. Maybe they're grinding their teeth at night and it's giving them a temporal headache. Or is it the extreme? Are, are they always in car accidents? How many car accidents? I have? They had 16 grandmas that died and they only have two. Uh, they're attention seekers. They'll utilize whatever they have. And they'll usually, when it's a lie, it'll usually be pretty extreme. If you were to ask them some information, uh, do they know the medical stuff? Sometimes they will, but you, you know, uh, you can ask them like, oh, did, I don't know enough. My mom had cancer, but I don't know enough about it, but did they put the IV in or, you know, you had breast cancer. Did you get the burns? Um, there, there's certain things that, you know, you can ask them what does stage four mean, uh, things like that they should be able to answer if they're going through it and if they're like oh it's um it's just bad uh and you're like well how bad what does that mean and they're like it's just bad they're not giving you uh a comfort that they're really going through it and that's a red flag so i just thought it was important to recognize that you know do they die young uh the video that i did was Sometimes, you know, they have um, more heart attacks at younger ages. Like they, they've gone through stressors in their life. Um, the riskier behavior, different things with the narcissist. Uh, based on a study, if you want to watch that video, it shows that they believe they do die younger. Also, uh, men tend to die a few years before women do. So most narcissists are, are male. So that could throw off the study too, but I, I'm appreciative that he shared that because I do want you guys to realize that narcissists aren't on the up and up and I've cared for dying people. My, my parents uh, have a lot of health issues. Uh, my grandfather lived to 98 and a half. There's a lot of things that people in the end of life need and it's draining a lot of sacrifices. I don't mind doing it for somebody who needs it, but to give so much, like I quit a job and moved, uh, uh, left my uh, place, uh, moved states away to help with my family. A narcissist can get you to do things like that. Change your life if, if it's for people who really love you. But if it's to be utilized as, as a slave or as an emotional supply puppet, you deserve better than that. So thank you for pointing that out, Mr. Viewer. And topic requests are always welcome. Feel free to let me know if there's anything you want to discuss. And I will see you in the next video. One-on-ones are available. Have a good night.